I think this morning uh, probably something to talk about would be prayer. Uh, and a lot of people don't pray because they don't see the results or because they prayed that somebody would be healed and they weren't healed or whatever it was. And they don't see the answer. And good people who have prayed have still died or been martyred or whatever you want to say. So that part of it is, is something that we don't understand. So let's think about prayer from the standpoint of first our inner being. And if we start to think about things like the water coming out of your tap, do you ever just thank God for it being there, uh, that you have it? Or when you go out and you see the beautiful wildflowers or uh, the tree in bloom or the bright colors in the fall, uh, if you just have that attitude and you're running around with a thankful way of living and you acknowledge all of the things, you don't have to go to formal prayer. This is something that just is, is an everyday life. How good a warm shower feels. What it's like to be out in the rain or in the sunshine, or seeing the fog on the edge of a hillside, where, or maybe above a stream, where you see it lifting off, and it's almost like ghost-like figures of fog lifting off the lake, or whatever it is. We can be thankful for those things. Now, we also have to remember that the eating of meat, when God authorized it, or or gave us the concession, it also came with a curse. And as we know, all chronic diseases, or essentially all of them, come from our farming and of, of animals and the eating of animals. And if we go back to God's original diet, we don't have that problem. And what's that have to do with prayer? Well, if we're praying that God keeps us from having some of these autoimmune diseases like arthritis or having diabetes or whatever it is, and we still continue to eat like we are in the, in the United States, in the standard American diet, so to speak, we're not going to get healed. We're going to still have that disease. But if we're really praying in God's heavenly will, He's going to take us off of those foods and put us back onto the plant foods that will heal us. And I know it worked in my life. So I know it will work in anybody's life. But it's, we have to eliminate the wrong things that we're doing. And it, it, it's just, there isn't anything special you have to do. It's just to open up our hearts to God and receive what he, what he has for us. And he'll get us into that heavenly will. Trust him. That's the way prayer works. Amen.